Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with ShopSaver CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to look at the exclusive ShopSaver Super Z technology. What eventually led to our development of SuperZ technology started as a project that involved maximizing gantry clearance on the CNC routers. It seemed obvious that the clearance under the gantry on a CNC should determine the thickest part that could be machined. If it fits under the gantry, you should be able to machine it. Well, it turns out that might not be the case depending on the length of the tools needed for the application. Traditionally, Z-axis travels were designed to match the gantry clearance on machines. For example, if you had 12 inches of clearance on the machine, the Z-axis travel would also be 12 inches. And this worked okay in most applications, but not all, especially when longer tools were needed. It seemed like adding an additional four inches to the Z-axis travel would be the optimum specification. 16 inches of Z-axis travel. You can always just make everything proportionally bigger, but that changes the market position of the machine and actually can affect speeds because of inertia changes. That's why we chose to keep the same gantry and base frames on our Pro, IS, and ISM series. Machine engineering starts with ideas, and those ideas come from people. One of the secrets to the success of ShopSaber is having very talented in-house engineering. A typical project like this starts with multiple ideas on how to achieve a desired result. Then the proposed solutions are turned into solid models. Enter finite element analysis called FEA. FEA is an engineering software package that allows us to analyze the mechanical designs and actually simulate various machining loads. Now, software is not a substitute for people's ideas, but it can make the analysis portion of the design process much more efficient. Finally, through FEA, the best designs are selected, then prototyped in the shop for actual testing. Then the final design is selected. In our case, the tool plate assembly with 16 inches of travel had to produce equal to or better edges than the existing 12 inch design on our Pro IS and ISM series models. The design that prevailed involved adding stiffener plates on each side of the tool plate. Solid stiffeners were first used, then the design was refined into the cutout patterns that you see on current models. The approach reduces mass without affecting strength. Problem solved. This was the first phase of what later was termed Super Z technology. The second phase focused on machine motion in the Z axis. The vertical motion on ShopSaber CNC machines is controlled by precision contour guide rails. Everything that's mounted from the bearing trucks outward contributes to tool plate mass. It's a roll of the Z-axis servo to rotate the precision ball screw and through the interface with the ball nut create the up and down movement of the tool plate. Because of gravity, the tool plate's much harder to raise than to lower and that directly affects acceleration and deceleration, which is called Akindek for short. Now, a good way to explain Akindek on a CNC router is to look at cutting a square corner on a rectangular part. The cutter's moving along an edge at a program feed rate. As it approaches a corner, the machine has to begin slowing down. At the corner point, one axis stops, the other axis starts. The process of acceleration then begins and the machine accelerates to the program feed rate. The steeper the Akindek slopes, the less time it takes to machine the part. Acceleration and deceleration issues also apply to the Z-axis. Enter the balancing cylinders. By adding balancing cylinders to the design, we were able to use air pressure to counteract gravity. That made it just as easy to raise the tool plate assembly as it was to lower it. This greatly increases ball screw and ball nut life, but that doesn't qualify for Super Z status. There's another huge advantage, and that's 3D machining. If you analyze a machine motion for 3D machining, it almost always involves a Z axis. That can be Z and X, Z and Y, or even Z and XY. For that matter, Z axis is also involved in wrapping tool pass and A or B axis. Most people don't realize the actual machining speed for 3D is determined by the slowest action, which is normally the Z axis, because Akindek. 
by adding the balancing cylinder to the tool plate and tuning the air pressure to neutralize the effect of gravity, we're able to actually increase the acceleration and deceleration in the Z-axis. And that improvement is not by a little bit. Our machines with Super Z technology are two to three times faster in the Z-axis than most of our competitors. The increased accelerations and decelerations result in much faster 3D machining, faster hole drilling, and even faster tool changing on ATC model machines. What started out as our desire to increase the machining capacity in the Z-axis without making the machine huge, of course, led to something really special. Not only did we increase the Z-axis capacity on the machines, we also increased the speed of 3D machining. That's what makes this worthy of being called Super Z technology. You know, you might ask, why can Shop Saber accomplish these things while most of the competitors can't? Well, it starts with having in-house engineering talent, having the ability to totally fabricate and test the designs, and finally place the designs into production in-house. You know, those are advantages of being an American machine tool manufacturer. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information on Super Z technology, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.